This is sunrise looking down from the scarp onto the coastal plain. That's the track leading to the Air Bird Observatory. And way over in the distance you can see sand dunes and uh, a glimpse of the Southern Ocean. So there's a one kilometre very steep walk here. At the bottom of that cliff is this little forest and get a load of this bird song. It's an absolute cacophony and it's impressive not just because of its volume but because of the variety. The track itself is 10 kilometres long and it's about half good and half bad track. This is about halfway along the track, 5 k's. This is good track, you can do about 5 k's an hour on this one, on this sort of track. And this is bad track. Uh, you should budget for about 2 kilometres an hour on this stuff. It's um, very fine, it's like... Uh, talcum powder. At the end of that track is a, a beautiful beach. It took me about three and a half hours to walk it and you could do it easily in half an hour in the four-wheel drive. I was going to go for a swim uh, but a friendly uh, cray fisherman told me he'd seen lots of sharks that morning. The bird observatory is set back about a kilometre from the beach it's a lovely limestone building with a corrugated iron roof and a lovely dunny. It's got, I think, three bedrooms inside and a couple of sleep outs. There's a sleep out and there's another sleep out. It costs $90 to spend uh, the night. Uh, that includes food and it's a lot cheaper than any of the motels on the highway and much more interesting. But you do need to book in advance. Um, there's uh, quite a bit of wildlife about, birds um, uh, coming in for a drink, um, kangaroos just wander about the place like they own it, and um, the sweetest animal is the pygmy possum, which is a tiny little thing about the size of a mouse, but unfortunately they only come out at night, and as I didn't spend the night, I didn't get to see the pygmy possum. I'm tempted to go back just for the pygmy possum, actually, and spending and spend the night.